Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Diesel Patches Let's Plays. Today we'll be talking about the Ace Family hour-long video of them touring around their house and showing off how rich they are and, you know, just basically showing off how big their peepees are. Now, it just occurred to me that the Ace Family Part 4 documentary never came out. I don't know if this is the Part 4. It doesn't say it is. So I'm just gonna have to guess they just stopped caring about the documentary and decided to just show off the house. But anyways, guys, we'll be taking a trail down Austin Wonka's douche factory. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be safe. Really excited. All right, introduction done because I don't want to be here any longer than I have to be. And trust me, we're gonna be here for a while. I have a lot to say. Someone told me love was only in the movies. It don't exist in real life these days. No. But you showed me if I only just find the faith I need to believe Anything is possible If you want it bad enough Know the sky test their limits Do you feel unstoppable and incredible? Oh still I can see I feel so ready so even though this video isn't part of the documentary, they edit clips as if it was. Okay. And then we get introduced to our favorite family vlogging YouTube channel. Oh, hello there. Hi, how are you? You guys are a bit early. So before we begin the Ace Family House tour, I want to apologize for taking so long for today's video, but I promised you Ace Family that it was gonna be well worth it. So just so you know, um, the house isn't 100% completely done. Yeah, because as we know, this clearly isn't enough. Also, Photoshop. Um, but we are still going to show you the entire house tour today. Finally! Ace Family, if you're excited for this house tour, make sure you give this video a thumbs up right now. <laughs> oh, Austin, you know I got boners for this house. I'll give you that big fat thumbs up. I'm just so psyched to see Michael B. Jordan's room. I think it's time because these cookies are melting. Come on. I'm melting. Come on. <laughs> Let's go! Hey, Ace Family! Hey, Ace Family! Jesus, I don't think Julius Bjorsson flexes as much. Steinway, please play something that welcomes the Ace family to the house. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Yeah. This is the whitest shit I've ever seen. Even though, given the circumstances that Austin is half black and Catherine is Latina, I don't know. She looks more Latina than Lily Pond, so I guess that counts for something. Okay, so let's first start talking about this entryway. So if you're new to our channel, uh, or if you're not new, you know that this is a completely new uh, construction. So it was two houses before, and we literally combined them together. You know, me and my friends actually joked about Austin and Catherine taking two houses and just making one big ultra super house. But I can see that was wrong for us to joke about because we should have seen this coming. Why does a family of four need a home this big? What, did you not have enough space for your servants and serfs as well? When are you guys going to show off their f***ing Harry Potter beds under the staircases? I'm sure that would be a nice addition to the tour. We love open floor plan and we're very minimalist. Yeah. Minimalist. Are you serious? Blossoms, you would call it? <laughs> I don't know. But seriously though, Ace Family, just look how big this pot is. Yo, Austin, no hating. That's pretty big and all, but mine is much bigger. It's the only way I'm getting through this shit. It's really Oh, baby. Anyone else think this tree looks kind of phallic? Especially those two big balls in front of it? How much you want to bet Austin records his daughter's licking it? People keep saying, like, this reminds them of, like, Stranger Things. Whoever comes over, they say, like, something about Stranger Things. Um, I've never seen the show, so I don't understand what they're talking about, but it is strange if that's what they're it saying. It kind of reminds me of like Ursula and like Little Mermaid, like something like okay. just, I don't know, it's very unique, I like it. Well, while we're making Little Mermaid connections, that last tree reminded me of the Little Mermaid poster, and both of you are completely unaware of the phallic imagery. I probably spend like 60-70% of my time cleaning the house. 
Uh, bullshit. You don't clean anything. Your fat ass probably sits on the couch, eats bun buns, while pointing your finger and telling all these servants and serfs to clean and cook. And then when you're done nagging them around, Michael B. Jordan comes out of the closet and gives you a quick dickin'. I know how rich white women operate. The really cool thing is this hand, and comment below what you guys think that it means. It has like a special meaning to me. Um, Austin doesn't have a meaning for you. <laughs> what? Yes, it does. <laughs> what is it? It reminds me of um, to accept love. Ooh, I'm nice. <laughs> oh man, I'm just so damn nice. That's why I have to tell everyone in the world I'm just so fucking awesome. <laughs> oh god, it's so painful. What about for you? So me, it reminds me of like when you come into our house, like love is is at the palm of our hands, like. Love is all that matters. Remember this scene. I guarantee you it will come into play later. We decided to have two massive coffee tables in our living room because like our living room is so big that it ended up working out perfect. As you can see, I kind of like staggered them to give it a little flavor, you know? I don't know, for some reason I just feel like I'm a uh, interior designer, but I'm really not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indubitably. Let's say Google. Play me some of that Tom Jones fellow. I want this moment to be more white than the Try Guys. Whoever knows how to play chess, Ace Family? Uh-huh. Let me know, hit me up. Oh, seriously though, Ace Family, if you know how to play chess, hit me up. Yeah, I'm sure your fetus demographic knows how to play chess. On this side, we have Tic-Tac-Toe. All right, that one makes a lot more sense. Way more age appropriate for your demographic. And this island is so precious to me. It's easy to clean, it looks dope. Can I, can I ask you a question? Oh. Have you ever cleaned it? What? That. Wait, what do you mean? Have you ever cleaned it? Oh, please, Catherine. We have slaves for that. What, do you expect me to pick my cotton as well? <laughs> yes. Walking over here, we have more crystals. Got this. This is like our good luck pot. Oh, she guys got some right pot here. for me? Oh. We come over here and we <laughs> So over here, we have this picture of me and my baby. Ace family, comment below if you remember what this picture's from. Well, gee, it could be anything. I mean, so many people wear that outfit everywhere, so I, I, just, I just don't know. Here is the Ace Family fridge. The Ace Family fridge. Do you guys, honest to God, find it necessary to name everything after the Ace Family? Quick, honey, I'm having an orgasm. Grab the Ace Family dildo. Welcome. If you guys come over, you can have whatever you like. Why do you keep talking as if we're going to come over to your house? Wasn't the whole point of you getting this house so people would leave you alone? We got some pizza, more grapes. Gotta put your grapes. Leftover grapes, put them in the no, freezer. No. We found these grapes in our neighbor's yard. I hope he doesn't mind. And if he does, he's just an Ace Family hater, son. Do it. And how stores do yeah, get shown a bathroom? So this is the guest bathroom, guys. Welcome. We got Al's little step stool down here for her to wash her hands. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Where the hell are your kids? Okay. Oh, this room is the chef's room. We don't need to show that room. It's just a regular room. Those people don't matter. So if you're part of the Ace Family, you are already familiar with our cars. Over here we have Dream. Over here we have um, Blueberry Yum Yum. And over here we have Minimalist, because you guys know I am a total minimalist. I mean, what minimalist doesn't have five cars? Pfft. We're going to replace the treadmill so you can look out to the amazing view and give yourself motivation. Just look at that view. This view just motivates me. It just makes me just want more in life, you know? More? You already own half the planet. What more could you want? Hey fam, I know a lot of you guys are wondering what this room is for because we don't really film any more sit-down videos. That you'll see very soon. Yes, this is something that you guys have been asking us for a while now. Oh god, I hope it's not another documentary. You didn't even finish the last one. What else more can you talk about? So it's, it, we call it the sneaky room, but it's really a studio. It's really a music studio. Soon to be music studio. Um, but yeah, so all my music stuff's gonna go here. And me and my baby are gonna start coming out with some heat. You understand why a little later on. Yes. Um, it's something that we've always been interested in, but just never had time. Yeah. And this is like something we like to do aside from like creating content. So I think it'll be cool. All right, what I'm about to say is not directed just towards the Ace Family, but also towards other YouTube channels. I have to ask, 
why does every goddamn popular YouTube channel think there's some brilliant musician or some shit? I swear, whenever a YouTube channel believes they're running out of content, they either start doing music videos or podcasts. To be honest, the only YouTuber I know of who actually creates good music videos is Joji, and he doesn't even do YouTube anymore. Oh, oh god. <laughs> We're here, we have my, probably my favorite part of the house. Really? Yeah. Secondary kitchen? Yeah, the kitchenette. Yes, we had to put this kitchen in because if you come down, our master bedroom's up here, if you come downstairs, there's no way late at night we're gonna walk all the way across the house to get some water. Here's an idea. Maybe you could just simply bring a water bottle to your bed. Or have one of your slaves do it for you, I don't know. It just seems easier than building another kitchen. <laughs> So over here is another pantry. This what the hell? We currently have um, a floaty in there right and now. And we actually have one. Okay, I guess we're just glossing over Mickey okay, Mouse's that's, aborted fetus that's, in the pantry. That's, that's, now we come upstairs to the other side, right? Correct? The most important side of the house. Yeah. Oh my god, this video is still going on. Alright, so over here we have a... Uh, walk-in closet, and here we have my side on the right, and we have Austin's side on the left, and he decided earlier to put his shoes on my side. Yeah, because I ran out of room. Okay, Sorry. Well, wow, Austin, you're such a minimalist. Having hundreds of spare shoes you're probably never gonna wear. Wow, you're so humble and down to earth. Hold on, don't forget about my jet ski. Hold on, hold on. Let's go look at the view. No, 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 no. We need to take that out right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to enter into the realms of complete and unadulterated douchebaggery. If you have any children around you, please keep their eyes wide open so they know exactly who they shouldn't be when they grow up. <laughs> no, why? Oh my god, Austin! You only live once, like I always say, so why not live it up? Look at this, for where I am. Throw me the camera, throw me the camera. Throw it to me, throw it to me. Just, man, just look at this. The jet ski, the pool, and that view. You're probably asking yourself, yeah, riding a jet ski in a pool is pretty douchey, but I don't see what the big problem is. Well, all that water going off the edge, due to Austin being a douchebag, is creating mudslides. And these mudslides are going into the backyards of their neighbors. One of the neighbors grows grapes. And guess what happened to those grapes? You can even hear the poor man screaming in the background, stop. And that view. If I could catch that through a YouTube video, I'm pretty sure they heard that in real life. Surprisingly, the Ace family gets caught into more drama, and all this shit is posted online. Now, I want you, the viewer, to just sit back and ponder. Just visualize. How do you think Catherine and Austin responded to this incident? Did they either A, apologize, B, admit what they did was wrong and help fix the issue, or C, act like nothing happened like they've always responded to criticism and give out the excuse that they're just haters lol. You two have the maturity level of children. I think your daughters are more mature than you are and they're, what, the same age as your demographic? Yeah, remember that joke I said earlier? We found these grapes in our neighbor's yard, I hope he doesn't mind. And if he does, he's just an ace family hater, son. I take it back, I wasn't joking. I am convinced they actually did that to get back at the haters. Look at this tweet. Oh, nothing people just hate to see happy people minding their own business, living their life, and staying in their own lane. Yeah, nothing says staying in your own lane like terrorizing your neighbor's yard. Hmm, why don't we go back and see what Catherine said earlier? Like, when you come into our house, like, love is, is at the palm of our hands. Like, love is all that matters. Yeah, love is all that matters and a little bit of pettiness. Now, Catherine addressed what happened with that guy's backyard, but of course she acts like she didn't know what was happening. Yeah, I'm sure you didn't know when that guy was yelling stop pretty loudly in your video, you didn't know what that meant. It was pretty obvious to me and many others. Oh, we got complaints, we don't know what that's about. Yeah, uh, bullshit. She was more upset with Austin's jet ski breaking the tiles in the pool than she was destroying someone else's backyard. <laughs> so! You guys don't even know how hard it was to, like, film, create content at an old house, like... Yeah, it must have been a real struggle. Can't believe you went through something like that. I thought maybe some Ethiopian children would have something to complain about. But they don't even know the struggle of filming a YouTube video in a relatively nice house. We gotta go. I love you guys. 
We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Well, there goes an hour and 10 minutes. I won't get back. Well, more like an hour and 15 if you count all of those ads they put in their video.